Now let's use the midpoint formula, exercise 22, to find the midpoint of ST given the two endpoints S and T. So I'm just going to substitute directly into the midpoint formula, um, x1 plus x2, the two x values, and uh, divide by 2, the two y values. When I add two numbers, divide by 2, I'm taking the average. Or in the case of two numbers, actually simply the middle. I've got negative 11 halves and 9 halves. I could leave it in that form, or I could show it this way, negative 5 and a half, 4 and a half, and that would be the coordinates of m. Now you might want to see it, um, you didn't have to do this, but let's say you had a graph. I'm going to represent my graph this way, maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger, there. And then I'm going to graph the coordinates of s, negative 3, and that's in this direction, and then up 3, so negative 3, 3. For t, uh, this is 5, 6, 7, 8, over 8, and then I'm going to go up 6. So when I plot that point right there, and the segment st would be there, when I find the midpoint, I'd see it's aha right there non-integral values, negative five and a half, four and a half, right there, and we're finished. Now we're going to take the midpoint formula that we all know and love, and we're going to find one of the endpoints given one endpoint and the midpoint. Whew. Well, let's just do it, you'll understand. I'm going to take this point R. I'm going to say that's my x1, y1, and I have the coordinates for the midpoint but I want to find the other point. I'm going to call that S. So let's go the mechanical way. Here's our substitution method right there. Notice now we put in the coordinates 3, negative 4. So that is my midpoint. I'm using negative 4, negative 6 for, for x1, y1. x2, y2 is my variable now. So I could do it this way. I could split them into two separate equations. Again, for the x's, or abscissas, 3 is equal to negative, <clears throat> sorry, negative 4 plus x2 over 2. Solve. And I can see that x2 is going to be the whole number 10. Over here, negative 4 equals, look at the expression over here, negative 6 plus y2 over 2. I'm going to, from here to here, I double both sides of the equation, just a little arithmetic, and solve y2 is negative 2. Therefore, the coordinates of s, or the x2, y2, are 10, comma, negative 2. It would help if we saw this on a graph. So, there it is. There's a graph. I'm going to plot R and M here. Now, if I'm trying to find point S graphically, I'm looking for M is the midpoint, and I can see from here, oops, I meant from here over to here is a horizontal distance. I can see of seven. I'm going to go seven more. I could even count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going, it's going to be this far in the x direction, in the y direction, from here to here. I guess I'm going to go up two more units. So it is going to be on this line, which would be y equals negative 2. So I could see that my point s would have to be here. Visualize this. And there you go. So the graph may help you out, but you should be able to do it with some algebra.